Welcome to the FlowerSchool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I want to share with you an autumn design in the Flemish style. The inspiration was a recent visit to the Portland Art Museum, looking at all the wonderful floral still lifes, oftentimes painted way back the 15th, 16th, 17th century, but today on trend and current again. When you have the opportunity, Google Flemish Old Masters paintings, take a look and you'll notice that many of them are in the fire hues, perfect for autumn, rich reds, oranges. So I went online to floorabundance.com where you can shop by color and chose my materials that way. Now I've got so many fabulous things to share with you. Kangaroo paw, chocolate phlox, roses, spray and regular, pomegranates, Look at that, aren't they grand? Some James Story orchids, millet, amaranthus, agonis, scabiosa pods, one of my favorite things, Montbrigia pods, so many grand things. And then one of my favorites, bittersweet. That was in season and it's so perfect. It's so big though, take a look. I had to put it beside me so that it didn't even fit on the table. All of this bits and pieces in a fabulous Flemish design. One of my favorite containers, the cast iron urn, is perfect for Flemish design. Now, if you've ever joined us in the large scale class, you know I have this in a large scale as well. It truly is a grand container. Very heavy, but fabulous. It is not watertight, so we can't put the flowers directly in. And I want to elevate a bit to add a little more height. So using a six inch design tray, with a little less than half a brick of foam anchored in, and it fits perfectly on there, ready for designing. As I begin, I start with just a few base items. The Halecho fern is beautiful and draping, giving it a cut, extending it outward, and then repeating that line with a second piece, just stripping off the end, coming out to the side, now in most of these Flemish style, oval is the form of choice. So then bringing in some of the agonis on the opposite side, again, extending out in a long oval. Then a bit to the front and a bit to the back. And I can come back a little of the fern. cutting it down a bit, letting it come upright, but still short, so it's a low oval design. This is perfect then for the bittersweet, just giving it a cut, letting that come out trailing as well. The James Story orchids with their rich burnt red fit this design so well, giving it a cut and then letting it come out, draping, just a bit, coming out to the opposite side, maybe even a bit to the front, but everything radiates to a central binding point and fills in, in that oval form, creating horizontal movement from side to side and then also front to back. With the form established, now I move on to the accent, the focal area of the design, which needs to be right in here, and that's where I'll put the heavier items. Now, many still lifes include produce, maybe berries, pomegranates, and the pomegranates are fabulous for this. The color matches, and it drapes over, anchoring it in well, and then letting it just hang down, and repeating that. Letting it drape. And then some are a little stronger. They don't drape as much, so they can come up more into the design. The mountain ash, also beautiful and so vibrant. Taking just a few of the berries, clipping it down, and placing it towards the center again so that it draws attention to the accent area. And then up 
end of the center. Filling in. This is where you can start adding roses, pods, anything you love to make the accent strong. The Flemish style is known for its lavish use of flowers. So many different textures, so much variation in form and hue. This is a perfect time to add amaranthus, millet, phlox, all your favorite things. Just giving it a cut and inserting it in. As long as everything radiates to the binding point, you can get it to fit in nicely. Just don't cross stems. You'll run out of space if you start crossing. But if it's radiating in evenly, you can just feed it right down towards the center of the foam. Millet. Letting it drape over. The chocolate flox adds such nice texture. Just giving it a cut. It also brings the brown of the gonas up into the design. And then the kangaroo paw. Are those amazing? They have such great texture. Picking up the red of the orchids as well as the red of the roses. And introducing it out to the sides of the design. And lastly, a few of the scabiosa pods. Again, getting that grand form and texture and tucking it into the design. When you look closely at the old paintings, many times you'll find subtle imperfections that were intentional. So maybe a bug-eaten leaf, because Mother Nature is never perfect. So adding the little subtle imperfections, these ornamental blackberries are so grand, and then also focusing, breaking the oval form by drawing attention to maybe a very important flower. So maybe taking a single orchid and letting it come up a little higher outside of the oval, oval form or a tiny bit more of the bittersweet and bringing that vibrant yellow up and across the top of the design. The Flemish style. With the luxurious abundance of floraabundance.com flowers, you can see when you have fabulous material to start with, it's easy to make a fabulous design. For more creative inspiration, check out the website, flowerschool.com. If you have questions, you can reach me there or by telephone at 503-223-8089. And I'd love to see what you create. Take a photo, send it to my personal email, or better yet, post it on social media and tag Floral Design Institute so we all can see. Now it's your turn. Have fun and do something you love.